What's up YouTube, my name is Lazy Tryhard, and today what I thought we would do is move on from our uh, current topic which is uh, user elements. I can continue to do that series but I thought uh, it'd be time to move on to episode 10 because it is finally winter, I'm finally done with finals, I've survived the grasps of academics and I can focus solely, um, obviously not solely, but um, mostly on you guys and getting you guys more equipped uh, in the libgdx environment and uh, whatever questions you may have throw them at me because I'm completely done and I can be f completely focused on this uh, series and these projects and whatever you guys um, want me to be focused on so today what I thought we would do is focus on terrain generation um, right now we just have we have our cute little menu uh, we hit play and we have this huge little white space and that's kinda gross to me um, so what I thought we'd do today is we create a tile interface where uh, you can draw tiles that are randomly generated and again it's not gonna be I'm not gonna go into like biomes and stuff like that but I'm just gonna show you the basics on how to randomly generate a terrain every different t every single time that you run the program so you'll have different uh, environment and then you guys can go bonkers with that and do whatever you want uh, so what I thought we would do today is basically that so however long it takes that's how long it's gonna take uh, so first off I've already created the class um, but go in here uh, do a new and create a class and call it tile now this tile class is gonna have a couple of uh, a couple of things. We're gonna have to make two separate classes, um, and honestly, this isn't like the bet the most efficient way because I know I can do it in a more efficient manner. But this is gonna be the best to help you guys out. So this is basically what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a public tile, and we're gonna basically treat it like an entity, um, and just do float x, float y, float with float height and um, honestly all the heights are pretty much going to be the same so um, uh, x y with height um, and we're going to just obviously make these this dot y no equals y this dot width equals width and this dot height equals height. Uh, so this is basically what a tile is going to do and um, honestly it's completely like an entity um, and I'm sorry I was getting ahead of myself. An entity is kinda like what the player is um, it has like a like a texture uh, a position and a width and a height. We haven't gotten that far yet. I apologize. That was stupid on my part. Um, so actually we're not going to make two classes we can do this pretty quickly uh... what you're going to do is we're going to do texture texture um, this dot texture equals texture so i have oh, frick um, i have two classes um, and we're just going to do a public uh, render void render um, I was going to have two classes that dealt with um, the two different types of terrain I was going to put in. One I have grass and one I have dirt. Um, and again, I know, completely creative. Whoa, right? Um, but I thought we'd just kind of cover those things. Uh, where is it? There we go. And it's already perfect. Um, so we have that. So we have this tile here and this tile has a couple properties it has position it has the width and the height and those should be the same because it's a square um, and a texture and that's really all we need right now we can make it as annoyingly um, difficult as we want but right now that's just what we're going to keep with right now so we're going to make an array list of tiles and we're also going to create an iterator for that tile list um, so just be tile iterator um, initialize it down here uh, tiles equals new array list I wish they would do this for you because this is kind of tedious um, so we got that and we're gonna have to add some tiles to it 
So to do that, we're going to do the following. So for int i equal to 0, i uh, must be less than 10, i plus plus. And that 10 is just kind of like the width. So we'll have 10, t 10 tiles wide um, from the origin. And again, do not worry, because our camera doesn't really move. I don't want to deal with cameras right now. I can deal with that in another tutorial. Um, but since our guy doesn't really move, we don't really have to worry about him uh, hitting more white space. So I'll we'll just keep it at that. So we have a loopception right here, um, one loop in within the other and that's just going to basically format the positions so um, what we're going to do is we're going to do the following we're going to create a random number and that number is going to be between be between one or zero and one uh, so it could be either zero or one so it's like a 50 50 chance and we do that so that uh, the computer can know when uh, to uh, initialize grass or dirt. Um, so it's going to be completely creative because obviously I made it and it's going to be awesome. Um, but again, just follow me here. I'm going to explain this in a second. Uh, you can go on Stack Overflow for a better definition, project placement. Um, but basically this whole line just creates a number that is either one or it is zero. I know two minus one or two minus zero is two and plus zero is still two but right now like this is the highest number it can be and this is the lowest number it can be. It can't be two um, but it can get up to as, as close as it can get to two so it can get either zero or one which again just just go with it. Um, that basically does that and with that we can do if r equals uh, zero we can do the following. So we can add a grass tile so tiles dot add um, new tile and we're going to do the following this texture and this is going to be the difference between the two a new texture um, is just be grass dot png um, and the, the position is going to be i times uh, 50. Let's do, yeah, let's do 50. Um, and j times 50. And it's going to be 50, 50. Uh oh, I have a parenthesis messed up somewhere. Oh, the semicolon was, what are you, th what are you thinking? Um, so basically, uh, the i, that's the x coordinate, um, and that's going to move, uh, that's basically, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you know anything about loops, you should understand that th for every time this iterates once, this iterates, for us it'll be ten times, uh, so this will be like the x coordinate, this, if this is like a oh, column of one, uh, this will iterate like a bunch of times, or um, actually vice versa, but point being, we don't really have to worry about that. Um, just know that this will create, um, or this will add tiles from uh, left to right. And we do the same thing uh, with this tile, except we change this to a 1, and we change this to dirt, and that should, that should be it. We should have our tile array list, so if we run it, um, we shouldn't get any errors, nothing happens. Well, crap. That's why we go into the renderer and we do the following. Um, we do uh, tile iterator equals tiles dot iterator. And we do basically what we did before. Tile iterator dot has next. Uh, we're going to do a tile cur equals tile iterator dot next and we're going to just do cur dot render and we're going to do a batch and it's going to be it and fingers crossed it works wonderful so again like I can get rid of that but uh, you see we have this amazing tile map um, and it has literally no um, artistic value to it. Uh, but we got the grass PNG, I got that right off the internet, 
and I got this dirt PNG right off the internet as well. Kind of just like, you know what, what the heck. So we do it, we run it again, and it's completely different. If you don't believe me, we're going to totally run the CPU right now, uh, and we're going <laughs> to put this for loop in here into the render mode. I love doing this. I love testing my computer. Um, but we're going to put it within here right next to the... Th uh, the actual loop and this should go bonkers so yeah you see it's kinda going crazy my FPS is so bad right now because it's trying to iterate so many times um, but you can see it's generating random terrain every time um, and if you get like a bunch of tiles this looks awesome um, so that's about it for I guess this tutorial we can implement a tile system uh, anytime and with the game I'm trying to make right now I got a couple questions for you guys um, so I'm gonna ask that in another video because I don't know if um, everyone's gonna catch it or stay with me this far uh, within this tutorial so I'll have a separate video coming out with that um, so stay tuned for that um, but yeah I'm back for winter and I'm more than happy to be here and uh, just hang out with you guys so thank you so much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys later.